The warnings were, you must have a scale because it's so powerful. I don't need a fucking scale. And what could go wrong? What could go wrong? Hi, my name's Duncan Trussell. This is a story about the time I overdosed on 5-MeO-DMT in my shitty apartment in West Hollywood next to the alley where drunk girls would throw up at night. In those days, I had what I think is best described as like stupid psychonaut hubris. That person who feels like they've taken so many psychedelics, they're impervious to other psychedelics. Essentially, I was an idiot. And whenever you get that kind of puffed up pride, you anger the gods and the gods punish you. In this case, a dear friend of mine who I knew had never taken LSD, had smoked something that you could order off the internet called 5-MeO-DMT. And one of the names for 5-MeO-DMT is The Void. 5-MeO-DMT is what certain toads secrete when they're scared, but bad news for toads because monkey descendants figured out this stuff will get you blasted. Millions and millions of years of evolution to create something to protect you and suddenly hippies are chasing you through the desert trying to scare you so you fear squirt 5-MeO-DMT. Of course, what I took was the synthetic version. It didn't come from a terrified desert toad. Those days, anyone who'd never taken LSD, if they were saying that this thing or that thing was really powerful, I just didn't believe them. And when my friend called me and said, it takes you to the heart of the universe, I just thought, there's no fucking way that something you can order online takes you to the heart of the universe. And so I went online to the website he recommended, came to my house in a weird silver packet. So I took it and I poured it into my weed pipe and I lit it, inhaled, nothing happened. Of course it doesn't work, it's from the internet. Later, I thought to myself, you know what, maybe if I pour some of these crystals onto oregano, it will work. I don't know why I thought that. It's like a thought that like Satan sends into your mind. It was a bad thought. And also I have to mention, I'd done a little research into 5-MeO. The warnings were, you must have a scale because it's so powerful. I don't need a fucking scale. I'll just dump a nice pile of it onto this oregano and light it with my shitty butane lighter sitting on my rotten bed in this $650 a month garbage apartment where someone broke in through the window and stole my favorite guitar. And what could go wrong? What could go wrong? No one ever dies from drugs alone, right? Not in some shitty apartment in West Hollywood. It never happens. So I took a hit of this and inhaled so much smoke. My last thoughts were, oh my God, this I, it was like someone had just put their finger on whatever record player my thoughts were being played on. And that was it. It was like the universe just deleted me. Like the universe just wiped my hard drive. Like the universe was like, oh, Duncan Trussell, yeah, d use the dry eraser there. Let's just wipe him off the dry erase board of this dimension for a little while. Won't that be fun? You know what? Let's just completely annihilate him. What's the point of that guy anyway? He's just getting too high in some shitty apartment in West Hollywood. Let's just reset. I don't know what happened to me because I was gone. Uh, vanquished, annihilated, like not annihilated where your friends like, man, I got so stoned, I was annihilated, but literally like I was gone, nothing, nothing. And then finally, when some little bit of my consciousness crept back in, all I could think was, this is how I die. I killed myself, I'm dead. And then it took me again, deleted again, just gone. And then I came back and I was so thrilled that I was alive that I pushed myself off of my bed and looked in the mirror and everything was just melting. Like my entire apartment were some kind of wax candle that was just melting. My eyes were vivid, black, dilated circles. And then, because it's DMT, within a minute, totally sober. Called my friend and was like, you were right. <laughs> You were right. Tales from the...